Dolphins fans, I am Will Scott. Welcome to Dolphins today. Today's video is going to be all about a record prediction video. Getting getting this to you guys right before Thanksgiving and just kind of going through the matchups the Dolphins have here the rest of the season. I'm going to tell you what games they're going to win and what games they are going to lose. Before I do, let's take a look at the remaining schedule here. So here are the games they will play in December. Uh, or, well, you obviously have the, the Texans game here at the end of November, but then they get into December here. So the Texans at home, back-to-back -back bye weeks, basically. Easy dub. Then you have three straight road games. And even when the schedule dropped in May, I'm like, this is going to be the most difficult stretch of the season. At San Francisco, at L.A., at Buffalo. That's going to be tough. And then you wrap up the season with these three games. Week 16, you have a Packers team on Christmas. That really isn't that good. Uh, they're four and seven right now. And then week 17, you go to New England. That might be tough, but you're by far the better team. And then week 18, you welcome the Jets. I'm looking forward to that revenge game after uh, we lost the Jets a few weeks back. I want to know, what is the Dolphins ceiling? Go down in the comment section. Let me know. Is it 14 and three? Maybe so. The way they're playing right now, uh, they could certainly get it done. And we'll begin here with our Week 12 matchup, which is this Sunday in Miami against the worst team in the National Football League. The Texans are 1-8-1, one, one, one win in 10 games. They've been abysmal. In fact, Lovey Smith actually said earlier this week that a quarterback change in Houston is possible. Davis Mills might get benched for Kyle Allen. I don't think that's going to do much, and the, the Finns are going to roll here. This is not even going to be close. I have the Dolphins winning 42 to 13 over the Texans. Look, if they can beat if they can uh, beat the Browns convincingly at home, they should do the same to the Houston Texans, if not worse. So I'm going to say 42 to 13 here over the Texans, even if they do make a change at quarterback. That would put the Dolphins at eight and three. Moving on to Week 13 now. This is going to be tough in San Francisco. Uh, we're recording this before Monday Night Football, so. They're still 5-4 and four at the moment. And the big storyline here is Mike McDaniel's homecoming game. McDaniel coached in San Francisco from 2017 to 2021. First three seasons there, he was the run game coordinator. And then his last season there, he was the offensive coordinator in San Francisco. And I do believe he is going to lose his homecoming game. It's going to be tough to, to go and win this game in San Francisco. Do I think the Dolphins can win it? Absolutely. But I have the Dolphins losing here by just one point to drop to 8-4 and four on the season. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. And if you think I'm going to be wrong, go bet on the Fins all season long at chatsports.com slash bet. That's the promo code DOLPHINS125. If you put in that promo code, you are going to get a 125% deposit bonus. That means if you put $100 in, you're going to start with 225 in your account. It's a great deal. Go and take advantage. That's the promo code. That's the link right there. Chatsports.com slash bet. Dolphins are big favorites this weekend against the Texans. We're not going to see a line much bigger than that across the league all year. Minus 13. I still think that's a lot of value taking the Dolphins here with how bad the Texans are playing right now. Moving on to week 14. Uh, this is game two of that dreaded three-game road trip that we've been talking about in Los Angeles. L.A. just lost to the Chiefs on Sunday Night Football, blowing that game. Herbert threw a interception in the end to lose them the game. I do believe the Dolphins are going to get the win here, and Tua is going to beat Justin Herbert yet again. I'm going to say 31-22 over the Chargers. Going to be close for a while, but the Fins get it done in the end to improve to 9-4 and four on the year. And we were debating this in the chat sports office day, and I got clowned for this. But I do firmly believe that the Dolphins made the right pick, taking Tua Tunga by law over Justin Herbert in the 2020 NFL draft. And the narrative at the beginning of the season was, oh my gosh, this is the biggest mistake in Dolphins history, them drafting Herbert over Tua. Look at the numbers. Numbers don't lie. Tua has a higher completion percentage. He has more yards per game. Herbert's played in 10 games. Tua just eight. Tua has 18 touchdowns, three picks. Herbert, more picks, fewer touchdowns. And Tua has the far better QBR. Tua has, the, has had the better year. And maybe by the end of the year, we'll prove that he is the better quarterback over Justin Herbert. Let me know. 
down in the comment section, who is the better QB? Is it Tua, the number five overall pick in the 2020 draft? Or is it Justin Herbert, who was number six overall to LA? Go down the comment section. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So when that break comes, go down, let me know, type T for Tua or type H for Herbert. Let's move on to week 15 now. This is going to be tough, and this game might decide the division, guys. Uh, you have the Buffalo Bills hosting our Dolphins. Uh, the game time has not yet been announced. I would not be surprised to see that flexed to Sunday Night Football. Both teams right now 7-3. and three. And going back to the first meeting between these two teams, the Dolphins beat the Bills on September 25th in Miami, 21-19 to, to improve to 3-0 on the season. Nobody saw that win coming, but the Dolphins, except us, of course, but the Dolphins got the job done there against Buffalo. So can they get a season sweep of the Bills? I don't think so. I have the Dolphins losing by seven. I think the Dolphins might be the better team, uh, but it's going to be tough to sweep a team like the Bills. Plus, that game is in Buffalo in December. It's going to be tough. Hey, may, maybe uh, maybe it'll be snowing again. They'll move the game to, to an indoor stadium again because they couldn't play in the snow. Buffalo is complaining about the heat in Miami. Then they have to move their game due to a snowstorm in Buffalo, so we'll see. I think it's, I think it's a close game, uh, but that is the uh, that is marked down as a loss for me to, to drop to 9-5. Moving on to Week 16. I thought this was going to be a matchup of two Super Bowl contenders before the season, uh, but the Packers right now are just 4-7. and seven. This game is on Christmas Day, one of three Christmas Day games in the NFL. Most games are on Christmas Eve. You have one or two games on the 26th as well, but this game is on Christmas Day, and I do believe the Dolphins take care of business at home to bounce back after the Buffalo loss to improve to 10-5 and five on the year, I have 33-21 over the Packers. It'll be interesting to see if they uh, maybe play Jordan Love by then. Uh, we'll see what they decide to do. And then you have a date with the Patriots in Foxborough on New Year's Day. So not only are you playing on Christmas Day, you're also playing on New Year's Day against the New England Patriots. I have the Dolphins winning this one by 10 26 to 16. Yeah, the Patriots are playing pretty good football right now, but the Dolphins are just the far better team in terms of talent. So I think the Dolphins uh, get the job done there, winning that game by double digits in Foxborough to improve to 11 and 5 on the season. And then the Dolphins will wrap up the regular season at home Sunday, January 8th against the New York Jets. Right now, the Jets, even though they're 6 and 4, are in last place in the division, and I think the Dolphins destroy the Jets 30 to 14 here to end the season with three straight wins and finish 12 and 5 on the year. I have Miami 30 to 14. So my prediction is 12 and 5. Right now, the Dolphins are 7 and 3. I'm thinking they're going to finish 5 and 2, finish the year 12 and 5. Will that be enough to win the division? That is the question. It's going to come down, I think, between the Dolphins and the Bills for the AFC East. So let's go break these down again. I think they be, I think they beat the Texans easily. Uh, that three game road trip is going to be tough. I'm honestly going to be fine if they go one and two in those three games. But I do believe they beat the Chargers and then they wrap up the season with these three games, which I do believe all of them will be wins. Week 16 on Christmas against the Packers at home. Thankfully, we're not playing at Lambeau Field on Christmas. That would be tough. Then you go to uh, New England on New Year's Day. I do believe they win that game. And then Week 18 against the Jets. I do believe they win that game as well. And Jets fans are still talking. They're still talking about when they beat us a few weeks ago, uh, when they beat our third-string quarterback, may I remind them, uh, yeah, still no excuse for allowing 40 points to Zach Wilson, but I am really excited about that Week 18 revenge game with the Jets because I guarantee the Dolphins are already going to have a playoff spot locked up and the Jets will have to win it to get in and we'll still beat them uh, to knock the Jets out of the playoffs. But go down in the comments and predict the Dolphins' final record. I have 12-5. and five. Our MVP, Chad Jones, saying 14-3. and three. Go down in the comments section. Let me know. Predict the Dolphins' final record.